Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some new Indigo Disc DLC leaks to go over. We have new information about Mightiest Mark raids. We also have some new updates on Terrapagos. There's a lot of stuff to break down and get into today. So if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really does help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the latest leaks for the Indigo Disc. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy enjoy. So, starting things off, we have this tweet here from Riddle Aku with the mightiest mark image, and then he's uh, tweeted out saying electric, ground, dark, and steel. So, this could mean a number of different things. The first thing could obviously be the next four terror raids, which is likely the options um, that it is the likeliest of the options that I'm going to go over, um, because as well as that, these are types that we've not had yet for a Mightiest Mark. Now, it doesn't go into specifics about whether they're going to be legendaries or whatnot, but I feel like they most likely are going to be. I mean, they could also be starter Pokemon as well, um, but obviously we have the Indigo Disc coming out on the 14th. We have Hisuian Samurott until like whenever it is like the, the third or whatever, the fourth, fifth, whatever. We basically have like one weekend in between the Samurott raid and the Indigo Disc coming out, which I believe is going to be a Blissey raid because we now know like the sheer levels and competitiveness that is going to be in the Indigo Disc. They're going to need to supply us with things to level up our Pokemon and make them competitively ready to take on these um, Elite Four members and stuff like that. So they'll probably do Blissey raids that give us like a high amount of rare candies, XP candy, Terra Shards, stuff like that. So I think that'll be the, the weekend in between the Indigo Disc and the Hisui and Samurott. So once the Indigo Disc is out, I think this could be the next four uh, Mightiest Mark Terror Raids after that. And again, it's not like they're going to be every single week. I mean, they very well could be, but they are usually here for two weeks, barring like Eevee and stuff. Um, so maybe we have one um, on the weekend of the Indigo Disc, which is the Electric, and then a couple of weeks later, maybe we have the ground one. A couple of weeks later, we have dark. A couple of weeks later, we have steel, um, which is is most likely what's going to be the case. But again, no idea if they're going to be legendaries or stars Pokemon or maybe something completely different. We just know that we're getting legendary raids back in the Indigo Disc DLC from what Riddler Q has said um, earlier on in the week. Uh, the other thing it could be, which I'm I'm very hesitant about, is it could be like Raging Bolt could be electric because we know that like Raging Bolt, Iron Crown, um, they're going to be back in like events. And so by events, it could be uh, these Mightiest Mark Terror Raids. So it could be Raging Bolt for Electric. could be like Iron Crown for Steel. But then it doesn't really make sense with like Entei and Terrakion. Because Entei wouldn't be ground. It would be like Fire Dragon if it's going to follow the same pattern of, you know, Raging Bolt being Electric Dragon, Walking Weight being Water Dragon. And then Dark doesn't really work for Terrakion either. So even though, it, I mean, they could always have that Terror Raid um, typing, but it's very unlikely. But that is just another kind of option that it, that it could be. Uh, and then obviously we have um, these here. This is uh, posted by our machine who's saying there's these are the four uh, seven star terror raids left after the Hisuian starters. Uh, maybe Venusaur, Blastoise, and two legendaries. So yeah, we have a uh, dark, uh, steel, electric, and um, and 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 ground there. So yeah, it, it could be starters. It very well might be starters. Maybe they um, just give you a a star Pokemon depending on like the. Uh, maybe like a massive mass outbreak event because we know the starters are going to be available in the wild regardless after we do certain side quests and stuff so maybe you know uh, they'll do like the kanto ones first and then like johto or something like that i don't really know uh we do also have soul silver Rod talking about this as well saying i'm probably reacting uh too quick but here's some wild guesses he's just pulling out like four random legendaries being zekrom groudon yveltal and dialga uh, or maybe just the next terra types are probably legendary pokemon and raids that we have no way of guessing i d I don't know if it's going to be random legendaries. I, I, I and, and as well as that, like in the past, um, apart from like the Hisuian uh, starters and also Mewtwo, all of the Mightiest Mark Terror Raids, have, and, and obviously apart from Eevee, they've all had different typings. Like Charizard was like Dragon and stuff like that, and Greninja was Poison. So I, I don't think that it would be like the typing that they're going to be. So like Zekrom being electric, it, like Zekrom could be like ground or something um, instead. But um, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be uh, just like the legendary and their typing. I think there's going to be more to it. And then obviously this is what we've just gone over by, by Arma Shinu saying uh, this could be an alternative uh, answer to this riddle that these types Ku gave us are Terra types of the next few starters that will appear in raids as well as one or two special Terra type legendaries. So yeah, I mean, I don't know what to think of this. This is probably going to be the next four typings though. But um, yeah, whether they're legendaries or starters, I have no idea. What do you guys think? What would you like to see in the next four raids? Again, we don't even know when they're going to go live because as I've said in the 
previous video like after the indigo disc drops it's going to be nearly christmas so they're going to do like some christmas stuff um where they're going to probably do like deli bird raids like they did last year and then also deli bird massive mass outbreaks um and then it will be like the weekend after that it will be like um new year's so will they drop a raid that weekend because obviously everyone's going to be busy so we may not get the next mightiest mart raid after history and samurai until like january um, which again might might just simply be the case because of how the like the times working and stuff with this uh, with December and the events going on in December. But either way, we'll have to wait and see. What are your thoughts on this though? Uh, let me know what you think the next raid is going to be and also uh, what Pokemon you, you, you think are going to be uh, in it. Next up, we also have uh, this post here as well by Riddleku with an image of Terrapagos saying two to the power of plus. So uh, this is obviously like some sort of like maths equation or something. I'm not the best at maths. I only got like a B in school, but I'm I'm thinking this, uh, and what other people are thinking it is is like um, it, it's its Pokedex number. So two to the power of plus. We have people kind of here talking about it and stuff like that. Um, and this is basically the the best kind of um, kind of answer that we have for it from Kai saying plus plus ten to uh, to the power of ten or whatever one thousand and twenty four. So basically. It looks like it's going to be its Pokedex number. So number 1017 is Ogre Pond. Number 1018 is Diplin's Evolution. 1019 is Arcaladon. 1020 is Raging Bolt. 1021 is Paradox Entei. 1022 is Iron Crown. And then 1023 is Paradox Terrakion. And then 1024 is Terrapagos. If it's what um, he means by this. And then that's pretty disappointing if that's all there is to be honest. Obviously we're getting Dokutaro as well. Which is probably going to be 1025. And then um, the mythical will probably be 1026. And I don't really think anything else kind of... Um would really would really work with that uh obviously you have jan here kind of reconfirming this as well saying you know this is what they predicted and then yeah forgot the peach 1024 would have been a great uh, would have been a neat number but um either way that that looks to be what riddler who is kind of like talking about here i don't really know why he's given us that though because i don't think really anybody's that excited about the pokedex entry so it could always be something different it, it, it very well could be um, talking about his forms or something like that or maybe his ability no idea but it looks like if it from a mass point from a maths point of view it does look like 1024 is going to be its um pokedex number so make of that what you will but uh yeah not not the most exciting stuff but uh that's the terapco's pokedex number it just kind of reconfirms the pokemon that we already know about like we kind of already have a pretty good idea of the pokemon that are going to be in the indigo disc um and it's all been data mined and stuff like that but obviously there's new forms that we haven't seen and stuff like dokatara is getting a form like terapagos's final form even though we've seen it in the scarlet and violet book it's gonna look different in game so there's still a lot of surprises obviously we haven't seen paradox ente and, and paradox uh Terrakion, but uh we just know they exist so let me know your thoughts on that and then also this is just a kind of tweet reconfirming that obviously riddler coup is a very much uh, a leaker. So obviously on the 28th of October, uh, we did have Riddler Koo saying, do you love double battles? Sudachi 2 is. And then obviously from the recent previews, we've had um, the, the confirmation now that there are pretty much only double battles in the Indigo Disc DLC. We've got Riddler Koo here re, uh, retweeting this or quote retweeting it saying, so reports began to tell this information. So yeah, way back when in October, it was like, do you like double battles? Because it's pretty much only double battles. And now we know in the Indigo Disc, there is pretty much only going to be double battles. At least the Elite Four double battles, it's competitive stuff like that so um yeah just in, in case you uh didn't know that uh you know riddler who is like a legit leaker this is just i guess a little bit more information about that uh, but that's basically going to be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do consider hitting the like button down below let's try and hit 500 likes it does really really help out of course leave a comment with your thoughts on all of the leaks we've gone over today nothing crazy really but i mean this is this is very interesting about the next terror raids um whether they're going to be starters or legendaries but we basically have the typings here so um yeah it looks like the next typing is going to be electric ground dark steel which again it makes sense because we've not had any of those typings and what would be cool if they did like all of the typings which they are looking to do and then after they've done every single typing they then do like a special raid or something like a 19th terror raid or something like that um whatever that obviously 19th terror type does um it would be cool if that was like the raid after we've had all the types because you know it'd be like the the kind of end of the puzzle we've finished all the other raids so now it's time for this one but either way we'll have to wait and see what happens with that but yeah let me know your thoughts on that and then also let me know your thoughts on trapagos's pokedex number and also uh the kind of roster that, or roster that we're going to be having in the indigo disc dlc but yeah thank you for watching subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell for daily pokemon content have a great rest of your day and until next time peace